God, Mamaru and Akira have delivered the goods. Let's start setting this baby up. Ow! <laughs> now this is what I call an arena. Looking pretty good. Booyah, compadre! I didn't know you were so handy with this kind of thing. And this awesome poster I made is the cherry on top. It captures the mood perfectly. <laughs> great carpentry, Traveler. And great artwork, boss. This place seems pretty far from Inazuma City. You sure anyone's gonna show up to watch? Oh, you bet they will. When you're as famous as I am, people will flock to watch you. I heard this is the spot where they held the sword fighting contest during the Iridori Festival. That makes this the ideal venue for Oni Kabuto duels. Next up, time to show you my invincible Oni Kabuto, Crimson Staff. Oh, it really is a red Oni Kabuto. Amazing. Huh. Paimon didn't expect you to put in this much effort. Where did you find this Oni Kabuto anyway? Can Paimon take a closer look? <laughs> Go ahead, feast your eyes. But I'm afraid I can't tell you what makes Crimson Staff such a special specimen. That's my little secret. Huh? That smells so familiar. What is that? Wait, Valberry Jam? Huh? What? Oh, uh, you're imagining things. <laughs> you must be, like, super hungry or something. <laughs> yeah, uh... Speaking of which, boss, you haven't applied a protective coating on top of the war paint yet, right? If it rains, then the 9,000 mora we spent on the imported jam is gonna go to waste. Don't worry. The almighty Arataki Extraordinary and Exhilarating Extreme Beetle Brawl hasn't started yet. There's still time to give Crimson Staff one last layer of protective coating. All right, you guys go grab some flyers and start bringing in the crowds. In the meantime, I'll be helping my compadre and flying lavender melon here get up to speed. After that, we'll celebrate over a meal. Oh, so much going on. I've really got my work cut out for me today. Ooh. This your venue? Not bad. Bigger than I expected. It's Grandmaster Hanakado! He's here! What? You're not supposed to know about this place yet. Are you forgetting something, Bonafide Beetle Battle King? We elite beetle fighters can sense each other's presence. Or how else would we have crossed paths last time? Looks to me like you're still busy frantically preparing. Is that because you don't have a clue how to beat us? <laughs> no. <laughs> Uh, in case you didn't know, me and my Oni Kabuto gotta get our brainwaves in sync before a battle. And until we're ready to roll, I always conserve my energy and keep a low profile. I just underestimated the strength of your Beetle Battler's sixth sense is all. Huh? So that's the kid Ito lost to? Yeah, he does look pretty normal. But the way he talks is pretty unique. It almost feels like... He was born to be Bull Chucker's arch nemesis. <clears throat> Grandmaster Anacado, you did well to track me down. I'm impressed. Looks like this bona fide Beetle Battle King needs to watch out for pretenders to the throne. But you're about to regret showing up here uninvited because you have just earned yourselves a pre-Beetle Brawl trouncing. Good. You seem more confident this time. And it sounds like you actually have a game plan. But if I crushed you right away, I'd miss out on all the fun. So I'll let my subordinates play with you first. <laughs> Using your minions to size up the competition now? Then we'll just send out Flying Lavender... Uh, <clears throat> nope, nope. If Flying Lavender Melon's representing the Arataki gang, we gotta rise to the occasion. We'll need a better title. Hmm... Ha! Uh, got it. We'll send Sky Cleaving White Iron Lavender Melon out to teach you a lesson! Huh? Why Paimon? Boss! Are we seriously going to fight them right now? We haven't had time to spread the news about the match yet. Also, your compadre and your compadre's melon haven't even tried beetle fighting before. You make a good point. 
But the fact is, the kid's here now, and I ain't about to back down. I'll have to put the publicity side of things on hold for now. As for beetle fighting techniques, I'll be mentoring flying lavender melon. Nope, nope, sky cleaving white iron lavender melon from the side. Battling's the best way to learn. Doesn't matter if you lose. Hey! Why are you assuming that Paimon will lose before it's even started? Go, white iron lavender melon! Show him the might of the Arataki gang! Sending you out first is part of my elaborate strategy, you know. I got my inspiration from a Liyue tale that Shinobu told me. Face their strongest with your weakest, their weakest with your average, and their average with your strongest. Then you're guaranteed to win two out of three rounds. You may be talented, but you lack practical battle experience. With all the elite beetle battlers here, I'm afraid to say you're a small fry. By sending a dopey little melon up first, we can get one of their best fighters to waste all their strength on the low-flying fruit. <laughs> we'll make short work of them this time. Um, but according to your logic, if you're planning to face their leader, Grandmaster Hanakado, doesn't that make you our weakest fighter? Huh? That can't be right. Gah, you little twerp. I never said my strategy was exactly the same as the one in the story. Fine, fine, fine. Hi, I'll do it already. But prepare to eat your words, mister! Low flying fruit? Hmm. Hi, Mom will show you! Ugh, what a puny opponent. And what a garish Onikabuto. Pathetic. You can paint your Onikabuto any color you want. The only thing that counts in battle is their electro affinity, the source of their power. Being able to pick out a prize Onikabuto from the crowd is all that matters. That's what makes or breaks every beetle fighter. That's a strange theory. Even Paimon knows that performance in battle matters the most. Hmm. Honing your beetle fighting skills is the most important thing. That's exactly right, Minnie Melon. Nice sounding theory, but it ain't gonna help you if you don't know how to fight. Listen up, White Iron Lavender Melon. You need to watch your opponent's Oni Kabuto closely so you can dodge its attacks. Then in the opening right afterwards, you strike back! As long as the opponent's in range, Crimson Staff will hit him hard. Got it! So when the opponent attacks, we get our Onikabuto to retreat. And when there's an opening, we move it forward and strike while they're still recovering. Sounds simple enough. Paimon will give it a go. The Traveler heard the explanation too, so Paimon bets we're both ready for battle. Are you seriously learning beetle fighting right before a match? You underestimate who you're up against. Enough talk. Put your Onikabuto on the table and show me what you've got. <laughs> 